Hello and welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of July 26, 2010, and I'm Ethan Foley. The EPA has called the draft environmental impact statement of Trans Canada's Keystone Pipeline inadequate. The pipeline would move tar sands oil from Alberta to the Gulf of Mexico through South Dakota, according to the Associated Press. Clean energy advocates like Plains Justice worry it would pollute area water and air. The EPA says TransCanada's statement failed to address these concerns. Plains Justice calls the EPA's decision a sign of progress. Illinois has taken a step forward with high-speed rail. It will improve 90 miles of Union Pacific Railroad tracks so they can host 110 mile per hour trains. It's part of a plan to connect Chicago and St. Louis. The upgrades should be complete by the end of the year according to the Chicago Sun-Times. Senator Richard Durbin said about the project, if ever there was a moment in history that we need to create good paying jobs and spur economic development, it's this moment. Meanwhile, Illinois Governor Pat Quinn has announced $500 million for different transportation projects, according to the Chicago Tribune. The funds would go toward transit and door-to-door -door service for disabled people. The money comes from an increase in driver's license fees and liquor taxes. Wind developers gathered for a three-day conference in Cleveland to discuss offshore wind in the Great Lakes. It included engineers, attorneys, contractors, and academics, according to the Cleveland Plains dealer. They discussed potential challenges and costs. The conference coincided with a public meeting about a project to put up five turbines on Lake Erie. Developers hope to have the installation complete by the end of 2012. Google has announced it will use Iowa wind energy to power its data centers for the next 20 years, according to Reuters. Florida's Next Era Energy owns the Iowa wind facility. Google in May also invested in two North Dakota wind farms. And that's it for this week. For more on these stories, go to reamp.org. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us next week.